Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is one of the series maybe for you. We're gonna shuffle till we get a jumping card. That jumping card will present the relationship situation. Then after that we're gonna take three cards for you, three cards for your person. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you. And energy could be vice versa. We have three. Let's say. Queen of Wands. Six of Swords. The Ace of Cups. I believe you are in love with a liar. And I think they are in love with you as well. But there is so many lies and deception in this person's life till the point that this is an impossible relationship. I don't think this person can pull themselves out of the situation that they are in even if they will die from love towards you. This person put by time, they put themselves in a situation, they cannot pull themselves out of it. And this is the five of cups between you and them. Let's see, three cards for you. And three cards for them. I know usually I put the person that is watching the reading on this side, but I said it that way, I'm gonna leave it as I said it. I believe you left this person from a while. You are, you stayed watching them, keeping tab on them, trying to find out what they are up to for a while. But now I believe that you are ready to close this chapter or maybe you did close that chapter, totally. I don't feel you are interested in this person anymore, even though you're still holding some energy toward, towards them or they have a special part of your heart. You don't want this person anymore in your life. You feel that this person is not the right person for you. But the point is that after this experience with this person, you are in the Four of Cups energy, where you are not interested in life itself. You are so cold towards anything. And you feel that you are not ready to be in a relationship with anyone. Not this person, not anyone else. The relationship that you went through with this person made you lose that spark of life inside you. And you have right now a huge trust issue. You don't trust. I, I, I think I'm going to say what I feel. You don't trust life itself. 
you don't trust that there is something called relationship in life. You don't believe that there is love. Or if you believe there is love, you are convinced that this type of emotions are not for you. You are not interested in anything. You are very numb from inside. Like... I believe one day you were that lady, as an energy I'm talking, not a male or female, in this picture. Beautiful, full of life, attractive, sexy, waiting for life to give you the opportunity of a lifetime. Someone who will love you truly and live happy ever after. But that didn't happen. Life gave you that seven of swords. That seven of swords, I believe they hold, or maybe they used to hold true feelings towards you. But as I told you, they were deeply involved in something they can't pull themselves out of it. This person knows that they cannot live right now. They are attached to something and their life is on hold with this hanged man here. This person was trying for a long time to run away from the feeling that they hold to you. But the harder they tried, the more that they were pulled again towards you, towards the feeling that they hold inside their hearts. This person living that feeling of, you know, when life will present you with the best thing that you can ever think about in your life and you lose it, this person is in this energy. They saw you when it was too late. The best thing that everyone can ever imagine. Entering their life. They believe right now. You are from the type of people. They would. When they tell you too good to be true. You are too good to be true, but you are true. And life presents them with this opportunity of finding that one, that true one who is too good to be true, and they lost it. And they are now hanged in another situation or with another energy, I don't know, but they are hanged somewhere they cannot leave. They are too tied to this situation where leaving it is impossible. And this is what's putting this person in this Nine of Swords energy, sleepless nights. They think about you night and day, about that dream that came true once upon a time. And they let it go. Because they were too blind to see your reality. And when they saw your re reality and who you really are, it was too late. I 
I don't feel that you want this person anymore. You felt and saw that this person is very immature and they have too many problems. If you will be involved with them again, your life will be miserable. And you, something happened, opened your eyes to see the reality of this person because in the past you didn't see it. Now you saw this person as they are and you know that this person is not the right person for you and you can't live with them. There is nothing in common between you and them except that feeling that you shared once upon a time. And that feeling is not enough. To make you go again back to this person life. You know that this person life is full of problems. And it's so complicated till the point that you cannot keep up with every disaster that this person has in their life. As I told you, this person right now is hanged to something they can't let go. They are too tied to this situation. And this situation will take a very long time for them. If they will get the chance to get rid of it, it will take a very long time. The only thing, the only feeling that still this person has, and they don't have any other feeling but this is regret because they were too blind and too dumb to read you right and to know who you really are as i told you life presents them to the golden chance and they lost it they lost it and they cannot get it back it's done and over now what i'm interested in in this reading not the story this is a past story and with this word sitting here i believe you don't want it anymore even if this person will come to your life today now and ask you to go back to them i don't think he will say yes you are not interested in this person at all. Even though you still have feelings towards them, you are 100% sure that this is not for you. And if you will get involved in this person again, you, your life will be a disaster. You will be miserable. So I know that this is the past. What's concerned me right now and I want to focus on is this four of wands. Four of cups, sorry. This is my concern right now. The energy that you are in. This is an energy of someone is not living. This is an energy of someone who is passing days. That's all. You are not happy, you are not sad, you are not angry. You are neutral, like nothing. Silence. This is something you need to, to fix. Because if you will stay, it's a kind of a silent depression where you don't have any goals in life to go after. Nothing. You're only passing days. That's all. You don't have anything to fight for in life. Sir, so just waking up, going to work. If you are working and come back home, eat, sleep, if you have things you have like responsibility, if you have to do, you are doing these responsibilities. 
you are moving as a robot. You have, you are, you programmed yourself to do stuff and you're doing this stuff over and over and over every day. And this is the main problem now. You are not alive. Let's take clarification on this and see what's this Four of Cups energy. Wow. Wow. Three of Swords, Five of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. This is the energy, and forgive me to say that, of a dead person. Three dark cards, the darkest cards in the tarot are here on this Four of Cups. Broken Heart, Conflict, and the Ten of Swords. You gave up on life completely, completely. And I feel with this energy here, after you were that queen of wands, you need a miracle to come back to life. I don't feel anything can bring you back to life except a divine interference. With these three cards here, you are beyond pain. I don't think you... You get used to pain till you feel that this is what life's supposed to be. You are, my dear, in a very, very dark place. Very dark place. And if you will not do something put, to pull yourself out of here, you cannot continue in this energy. You urgently need to do something to take yourself out of here. If you don't know how to take yourself out of here, ask for help. I think you need a professional help in this. You urgently need to find a way to go out of this. This Seven of Swords and the experience that you lived here took the life out of you. This experience put your life in a very dark place, put your soul in that dark energy. If you will give up and stay here for long, there is no way out. This is an urgent matter in your life, my dear. You have to push yourself out of here. And if you can't do this on your own, find a professional help. This is a very dangerous energy you're in. Let's see the outcome. Temperance, healing. You need that. This is the only thing you need. Healing and balance in your life. If you can't do it by yourself, ask for help. 
And I believe there is a divine interference in here. Something will come divinely to take you out of this energy. Because this is what you need. This is an urgent matter. I want to get one card as an advice for you. Too many. You know what? I'm going to get the angel cards for an advice. I know usually I don't use these cards here, but I feel that I need to pull a card for you. I don't have my glasses and I'm not gonna to bring them, so if I will struggle in reading, forgive me. Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation. And you need to trust your gut and lovingly assure yourself. You have to follow the light like this lady here, my dear to take yourself out of this darkness. Take action. You are in touch with your truth and this is your truth. You know that you are in a wrong place right now, in a dark place. And you need to trust your God. and lovingly assert yourself. Pray, meditate, and ask your angels and ask God, the divine, whatever you believe in, for help. And if you will ask for help, help will come to you. Let's start right now with praying and asking for help. Meditate and ask for help. Pray for, for whatever you believe in to help you and to give you the hand to take you out of this dark place. Thank you so much for being with me, my friend. If this is your reading and you are really in this situation, please don't give up. Please. This is an urgent matter. And the, long you, the longer you will be in here, the harder it will be to take yourself out. This place will, this is not somewhere you can stay in. This is a place where you will go deeper and deeper every day if you will not wake up and pull yourself up. You will keep going down. There is no end in here. You will keep going down. Please ask for help. Ask for help from your guides, from your angels, from your the divine, from God, from whatever you believe in. Ask for help from from friends and people you trust around you. You need to come out of this energy. Thank you so much for being with me, my friends. Wish you all the best. I will pray for you and for myself as well. To help us leave this energy that we are in, especially these days. 
with what we are struggling in in life. We have to create hope to ourselves. Giving up is not the right choice. Wish you all the best. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.